Hi everybody and welcome to this gameplay video of Alluris. My name is Dan and today we find out what happens if you mix Oregon Trail, you remember that old game, with the right Kinder, that's what the developers say. This game is developed by 562 Interactive and all the links to the games and there's other pages are found in the description below me and I thought instead of me telling you all the facts beforehand why don't we just jump in and experience it together. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Let's ah, we can <laughs> we can pick a good name. I can see that. Let's see, Frodo Averill sounds good. Do we want to be male? Let's go for that one. Race. Can't do anything else. Can't change can with that. Oh no. Oh, they're all locked. Did I made a boo boo now? Do I just have to? Okay. There's a lot of cards here, and I might be switching at the wrong side of all of you. And what a great oh, look at the details of this. Cool. So, uh, we are actually getting into the game when the Baron Dread is amassing an army, and obviously, no one is caring about that. I'm just trying to return as a farmer and let's see what we can do. And we're supposed to go help them. Let's see here. You come of adventuring age and your uncle offers to take you to Alluris to sell an artifact he found. Okay, up here we have our health. We are level one. We have 80 gold and we have karma. Let's see what we can do with all this. What is this? Okay. Let's try this one. The two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to Alluris. Okay. The cart is attacked by an orc. Your uncle yells for you to run. So you can either go get help, or we can help fight. I say we stay and help him. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There is a rumor that Baron Dread is building an army up there. Didn't I just say that? Okay, sorry for repeating myself. But as you can see, our health dropped to 11. We got to level 2, we got some gold, but no karma yet though. Okay. Continuing. Before you, st before you stands the city of Aluris. Uh, we can either bring your uncle to, to a tavern or we can leave uncle with the guard and head out. Uh, it, needless to say, it's a really nifty feature, so you can just play it with uh, WASD on your uh, keyboard, and you can also just press space when you pick whatever you want, and or you can use a controller. I haven't dug up mine yet, actually. But eventually I have to do it to try it also, because it seems pretty sweet. Let's see. Back to the game, sorry. Uh, let's go to the tavern. You drag your uncle to the tavern, he tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Aloris. They'll need to, extreme, need to be extremely powerful though. Is that us though, in this story? I don't know. Uh, I like that you can actually... Tamper with the cards behind. Uh, night sleep can heal anything. I don't know. We are pretty damaged, but hey. Your uncle heads upstairs. You wave goodbye and hang out in the tavern listening to the chatter. He was right. People seem to think that Baron Dread is building an army. And that he will destroy Alertus in 500 days. Okay, so we had to go. 500 days that is and it said that it, when you do achievements you unlock other characters and stuff like that and it's and that is always a good thing right let's see here let's stay in the tavern the barkeep pulls you into a side room and explains that the tavern basement has a rat problem if you could quietly handle them, he will pay you for your discretion. Well, of course. 
Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I love how the cart looks actually. <laughs> if that is a cellar rat even I would be pretty scared of it. Holy crap. But we are a brave adventurer so we don't fear anything. Before you can answer the barkeep pushes you towards the cellar. Uh, either you handle your own rats or fight of course. Uh, we are pretty low on health but can we really die this early in the game? Ooh, we did! Oh, I thought we did actually, but... We are in three health. Let's get a room. And... We are now at full health, level three. We have some gold in our pockets, but our karma hasn't improved. Uh, let's stay in the tavern. Seems to be more things to do. Cloaked man catches your eye. This is Strider from Lord of the Rings. He stands and quickly walks to you, handing you a letter and keeling over, dead. He pulls, you pull back the hood. He has the red skin of some kind of demon. Demon? Interesting. Uh, a cloaked man's letter. A carefully printed letter, maybe it will explain. I love the choices in this game. I like this actually a map. It's said to be uh, 14 different backgrounds. I'm curious how they will implement that. Let's see. Of course we want to read the letter, right? The letter says that the man was Adam Arxius and you don't have much time. His daughter was kidnapped by Baron Dredd's men and taken into the mountains. He enclosed a map. Please save her. Okay. I think it's time to head on out. I love this backdrop actually. It's amazing. Uh, let's see, our challenge is level 3 as us. It's a mean bird. <laughs> it looks really mean. That a nose I won't follow. What can we do? Leave it alone? Oh. I like the warrior path, right? You find an injured hag woman. Let's bring her. Okay, now we meet the bridge throw. He who would cross must answer me these questions three. Uh, okay. What is your name? Uh, tell him. What is your quest? Yes. That woman could find a place home in many places, some of them more interesting than just a town or a city. Okay. Which animal is the best? Uh, wonder what happens if you say it's ridiculous though. All animals. He threw me into the river. What? Interesting. So we didn't solve that one. Now uh, let's see. Challenge for two men arguing. They point at each other, claim each, each is the real one. You are both real. They stop and look at each other. After a few minutes discussion, you find that they are long lost brothers. Thankfully for the for the discovery, they toss you a sack of gold. You see? Not everything needs to be dealt with. Brute force. <laughs> and now we found a fruit cart. You come upon a roadside fruit cart. Either we take or... Ah, let's take some. And we got full health. The shopkeeper hands you some fresh fruit. It was delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, you happen upon a river? Now let's go fishing. All you find is worthless junk. What the hell is up with this bird? It constantly terrorizing us on our fable journey. But still, it, we survived to day 20. Uh, heard it's supposed to be 
dwarves in this game also, so we'll see. We're just gonna fight the mean bird. You find a particular aerodynamic stone. Of course we're gonna... We can't ignore anything in this game. Of course I can pick up the stone. The town of Bradford stands before you. Let's go into Bradford. Uh, I wonder how this implicates if I leave her here. Because we don't know what you want. You go. Yeah. It's a gypsy woman and she thanks us. Maybe it could be actually... Next playthrough we might actually drop her off somewhere else. You're offered the chance to buy a fine horse. I uh, would just like to say there's no price on this horse. Uh, we'll get it. Ooh, 200 coins! Holy. <laughs> get a room while I'll rest when I'm dead. Well, I like to be... Okay, it costs... I've missed that it actually cost gold coins to stay, but of course it's the story. Uh, I will hang out. As you sit with the drink, one of the stuffed heads adorning the wall begins to scream. It leaps off the wall and attacks the other patrons. Interesting. An evil enchanted head in a tavern. Hero time! Hell yeah! I'll stay a bit longer though. <laughs> There's a drinking tournament in a nearby tavern. The laughter echoes into the rural streets. Let's bring it on, shall we? You dive into the content with heart hearty effort. And after two hours you cling to the consciousness while the last competitors fail. Oh, sorry. You lift the golden drinking belt to <laughs> the champion. Uh, what a great day to be alive. Uh, farmer asks around for day's help in his field. He pay well enough. Well, let's do agriculture. He shows you the field and the two of you get to work, harvesting his crop in the sun. After a day of working, he hands you a small pouch of coin. When you see a distracted street merchant, you can swipe some of those wares. Well, I can see here to the right as we actually got the horse and our drinking champion. Steal the goods. Yeah. You arrive at the front of the booth and ask to inspect some of the item he has on display. We can't steal, you know. After a moment, he realizes his error and thanks you. Mm hmm. You see? Good things with karma, with a protected karma, you know. Uh, it's a peaceful wizard. You meet this. You meet a strange wizard. Looks like a cat, though. He tells you that the true heroes create peace, not war. Okay. Uh, let's get a room. An old sailor approaches you. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. <laughs> Look at that sailor. He promised to pay well for a guard, but it might be dangerous. promise to pay well for the guard, but it might be dangerous. Let's go. Look at that, we are at sea. He leads you to his ship, his crew loads up for an ocean voyage, an older man sprays himself down with pirate repellent. What the, what the, what is pirate repellent? Is it like Batman's, you know, anti-shark spray? 
what did you just sign up for? Siren Island. You hear a playful yet dangerous melody from a nearby island. <laughs> Sail up to investigate. Sail up to investigate. We can't really do anything else here, right? Okay, we go for the left one. You just feel like you need to see what's happening over there. As you float closer, the world fades to black. Hold on the wall. Sometime later, you flop onto the shore of an island. A ruined indeed. Are we gonna swim away? Let's try it. We spend an hour swimming out to sea and being pushed back in by the tide. It's quite dehydrating. But rest ashore, we found a shipwreck. Must have been here for some time. I gather food, gather... Gather wood. Ow, a splinter. You spent some time gathering what you could from the ship. Just as you grab the last plank, the whole thing falls apart and flows off to sea. Come on. You just can't catch a break in this game. Can we climb for coconut? Feels like we're gonna fall down. Ah, well, we hurt ourselves, but we are really injured. 15 of 55. Interesting. Banana bushel. Eat it. There we go. What an extremely satisfying snack on a day like today. Indeed it is, my friend. What was the name of that volleyball for him on Castaway or whatever it's called? Was it Wilbur? This could be a great opportunity to scab. I'm not gonna relax. You dig up an old tattered map with some kind of riddle on it. Woohoo! How mysterious. Mysterious indeed. X marks the spot, right? Oh, come on, read the map or flip it over. Yeah. Looks like a map of the island with a circle over the entire western half. Clearly, this treasure was hidden from everyone. Even those who buried, buried it. Want to go to the western shore? Ah, of course. Uh, this is a treasure. This must be the treasure. Yar, yonder gold may be cursed. Inside this treasure chest is a bit too suspicious and flip it over. On the bottom it reads 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. How odd. If that is a monkey, then I don't know what I am, but that is a really <laughs> strange monkey. Uh, let's see if we can find some bananas for them. Okay, let's continue. So we're back to the tree. Our dear, dear dodge tree. Enjoy its ma <laughs> majesty. Now let's build a campfire. You build up a roaring fire and cook up the coconut. You so we are still on this island. It's day 48. Uh, we have a map. Let me check our inventory now. Can't. Guess it's bound to the game. I'm gonna find some more supplies. We stumble upon a con shell. This could probably double as an instrument. Okay. Take it with you. Yes. Because I'm thinking that these bananas we can give to the flying monkeys from hell, where, wherever they are from. There you go. They have noticed your bananas. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, of course we're gonna give them. Okay, so now we got the group of demon monkeys on our quest. Dangerous looking path. This must go to the center of the island. 
Uh, well, we have our monkeys, right? The sign warned you that the most dangerous creatures were towards the center of the island. Still, you were not dissuaded. Nope. Ah, uh, these remind you of something. Jungle spiders. Ah, uh, let's fight them. There we go. Oh crap, there's a lot of beasts here. This is a tropical frog. <laughs> it looks poisonous. Uh, better not lick it. Metallic grate. Uh, are you kidding? There could be a monster in there. <laughs> no, we're gonna open it. With a loud click, the grate opens. You proceed down a ladder into a massive underground cove. I'm sure hoping there's a ship in there. I was right. Inside this large coast is a massive ship in a state of horrible despair. This chest seems quite plain. <laughs> Why would I want to talk to a chest? Who is a good chest? I am the chest yelps. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, it speaks. Quite cute, actually. Uh, isn't this the part where you try to eat me? Ah, let's go with this one. Your name? The name's Chester. Chester the Chest. How original. I once sailed the high seas searching for adventure whenever I could find it. Now I'm stuck in this cave. Hmm. Can't leave Chester, you know. I'm going to get us out of here. How are you going to do that? Question mark. Question. The ship won't go. The cave is blocked in, and all I have are pigs. I hardly make a good crew. Uh, well, work it out. Hooray! Chester takes your plan at face value and decides to join your adventure. Uh, here for a bit, right? Here's an old loam, used for making large fabrics, maybe with a coconut husk. Investigate. If you had some kind of fiber, you'd probably be able to weave it together and make something useful. Oof, that's gonna be a problem. Stone blocks the way out of the cave. Uh, head on over and stand on them. You walk over and stand on the rocks. They are big, gray, and heavy. You're not sure how you'd get those out of the way? Planks, repair it. You repair the ship with your pile of planks. These sure came in handy. Of course they did. that one okay those seems heavy investigate if you had some kind of fiber you'll probably be able to win okay gotcha uh, let's get up you emerge back in the center of the island old mine don't mind if I do the cave is dry the miners left some TNT behind you decide to take it you never know when <laughs> need blowing up, of course we're gonna blow up the entrance of the cave. Oh come on. We need to get back to the left. Uh, okay. Blast them. You place the stick of TNT around the rocks, you blow the stones, they come raining down all around the cave, and one hits you. What? But we are really weak. Uh, let's run from that one. Let's 
run from that one. Uh, unlike the jungle spiders on the mainland, these spiders are quite mellow and don't like to chase people. You pop out of the forest on to the shore. Let's eat it. Thank you. As you dig around the beach, you pull up treasure chests. You help yourself to the loot. What did we get though? Or does these uh, chest icons mean how many are found on this island, perhaps? Till day 8 to 5? Mm. Now I, I hurt myself every time I climb that one. Damn monkeys ate my bananas, but I was picking them up for them actually. We still haven't found... I don't think we found anything to produce, have we? Uh, we found a small holes and dig for crabs. After a few moments the ground shakes and an enormous metal crab emerges. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, let's fight it. Those monkeys seems to eat all the bananas for me. But not to worry. can we do here? No, I did I eat it? We could have given it to the monkeys. Now we just... Okay, if we run, we run outside. Gotcha. Uh, coconut. No, we need the leaves, right? find a set of small holes and dig for crabs. Again? Let's fight it. They still eat my bananas though. Let's fight that one, let's fight that one. Okay. If you had some kind of fiber, but where do I get the fiber from though? Yes, but how? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not good to panic either, actually. crabs right okay a little brief explanation what is happening here right now let's quick play this part because i obviously forgot to bring coconut back to the cave and instead of you having to watch me do it over and over and again trying to figure it out you just speed it up oh 
All right. So let's see. We finally figured that one out. So let's see what we can do. Take the monkey crew and then sail. Point at your sail and then point up. Your monkeys get the memo and get to work. In seconds, the monkeys are all in place. Uh, when they don't get done, you sit back with them and marvel at what you have done. The crew is already monkeying around. Set sail! You burst out of the cove back into the ocean. You look over at Chester. At Chester. He's brimming with excitement for the adventure to come. It took a lot of days though, I must say, because I didn't really read it properly, but it was all about the coconut bringing it down instead of letting me get health from it. We got all the treasures, so... I cast the nets. You deploy a net and scoop up some of the school. With some quick seasoning, they make a great snack. Pirate ship dashes in from the mist. Their crew prepares to fire on you. Bring it on, suckers. Bring it on. You and the crew board the pirate ship. Together you fight the pirates back, but soon their captain arrives on deck. Now for the real fight. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna fight him. You see, 14,000 in XP. You dive into combat, desperate to save the ship. In the fighting, you snatch a map of the pirate captain. In a moonless night, the ocean kicks up a terrible gale. Uh, Chester! The two of you are definitely not going back to the island together. You lash down the sails and hold on through the storm. Okay. Let's board it. You find a small chest of treasure, you bring it back to the ship. Hey, look at that, we're back actually at our starting point. That is fantastic. Sail home. You see? That is fantastic. So, what do you think about the game so far? Uh, I really like it and after I played this round I saw that you could actually see the progression of your heroes and you can also see next time you play what your achievement has unlocked but instead of just telling you let me show you okay so now we can actually pick as you can see male female non-binary human fairy that is nice thiefling we also met on the journey rat folk tree is locked and those i really want to find out farmer do we get anyone over here Let's see. Uh, wizard knows magic, <laughs> kind of nerdy. <laughs> okay, and bard actually. So we can play the loot and cartographer. Has all the maps when you start and that is actually really helpful. Well, as I said before, I think it's strength, but the game comes from being able to play it on mobile or perhaps tablet. Because then you can actually just kick back in the sofa and play a couple of rounds. And for me, that would be fantastic uh, the card system is really nice and it makes you want to play it again to see if you can find all 40 achievements that are unlockable uh, you might wonder what happened to the tinder part of the game uh, for me i had a date with a knight that kept forgetting his teacups and i eventually married a fish person and moved to atlantis before i got killed after 740 five days I think I don't know how tinder usually works but I guess that it's a good thing but before I go I would like to thank you so much for watching this and if you'd like to know when I release any more videos in the future just don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time stay awesome